Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The ACT Party will be supporting um, this, uh, this motion. Um, I've just taken advice from the clerk who tells me that this debate is actually about the actual workings of this committee and why this committee is being established. And so that the uh, ACT Party acknowledges the, um, the work that the Honourable Simon Power has done, the Minister of Justice has done, in talking with all members of this parliament. And we're very pleased to be taking um, our place in, on this committee. And I think, I think as the Russell Norman said, the leader of the Green Party said, that this is about democracy and we need to put this, um, this process in its constitutional, uh, in its constitutional um, or historical uh, place. And Russell went on to talk about the, the, the great story of, of Western democracy. Sir, I, I think it is very important that we have a cross-party uh, agreement. Uh, we try and reach as much agreement as we, as we can, sir, because the, the last time this process took place, sir, uh, there was a great deal of acrimony uh, and there were some damning submissions against the previous government's attempt to drive through uh, electoral reform. Sir, um, who can forget the very famous words of our own Human Rights Commission when they submitted on the Electoral Finance Bill uh, and they said, sir, this bill in its current form represents a dramatic assault on two fundamental human rights that New Zealanders cherish, freedom of expression and the right of informed citizens to participate in the election process. I think that the Human Rights Commission, sir, made a very important submission. Uh, they called on the government to withdraw the electoral finance bill, and sadly, sir, they were ignored. And so I think it is very important that the, um, the process that we follow does result in citizens being informed, being informed. And I remember well the debate we had on MMP in 1993, and Mr Norman has just referred to the efforts of Mr Shercliffe on that occasion. Well, sir, Mr Shercliffe is to be congratulated because he sought to inform the public. He sought to inform the, uh, the public of New Zealand about the issues of MMP. And so I hope that the, um, as the committee um, is involved in its deliberations, um, it can, take, in, it can take, those, take on those views. Because this committee, of course, is being established to consider uh, two bills. First of all, the bill dealing with the, um, electoral, um, the electoral referendum, the bill setting up the referendum for uh, the review of MMP or the review of the electoral system, and a subsequent bill to be uh, considered by this House to do with electoral finance. Sir, I only, I only hope, sir, that people do participate. I hope that the, the workings of the bill uh, that the committee considers uh, on the electoral referendum do participate, and I, and I hope that their experience with the most recent referendum on smacking, sir, doesn't put them off from participating, because, sir, the most recent referendum that this country considered, so of that, sir, 1.5 million New Zealanders took the trouble to vote. 1.5 million, sir, and 87 per cent, and I appreciate, Mr Speaker, I need to keep my comments on the subject, but it is important, sir, that the, in the, when the committee is doing its deliberations, we need to have a bill, sir, that doesn't put people off from participating. And sadly, sir, the record of referendums hasn't been very good in that regard. And the last referendum, sir, some 87 per cent of people voted for a change and, and they were ignored. And uh, well, not totally ignored, Mr Speaker, because I'm one of just five MPs who stand up for that 87 per cent, that 1.4 million order, people. Order, order. <clears throat> the member at the beginning of his presentation said that this was a narrow debate, that it was about the composition of the committee and outlined the very, very clearly what the scope of his, of his contribution should be and then proceeds to waver up. But I indicated to him that one time he should narrow it up, he acknowledged that and he strayed back onto it. I just want to say to the member, this is a narrow debate as you've described. I'm prepared to let people have the odd uh, sally off onto a subject by way of description, but to make this a major part of your presentation to this House is out of order. I ask the member to continue and to be within the confines of the debate. Thank, thank you, Mr Speaker, and I, I will certainly do that because I was referring to the... Um the committee's deliberations or potential deliberations on the electoral referendum bill. Um, if I could perhaps uh, 
consider now the, the deliberations on the Finance Bill, and, and Mr Norman referred to the need um, for the public to be involved. He talked about it being a deliberative process, and um, we do want the public of New Zealand to be involved in this process and to make submissions uh, on both of these bills, and I would encourage the public in particular to make submissions um, on the bill involving electoral finance, sir, because all too often um, there, there are members of this House who seek to try and restrict those deliberations, try and put unreasonable limits. And I thought that the Attorney General, um, speaking this afternoon in question time on behalf of the Minister of Justice, put it very, very well that we need to balance the public's interest. And the, the Bill of Rights, sir, the Bill of Rights uh, makes it very clear that freedom of uh, expression, uh, freedom to be informed, to participate is a very basic human right, sir, and needs to be protected. And I'm very pleased to think that the government is giving a very open mind to um, the laws governing electoral finance. So the ACT Party supports this notice of motion. We will be taking our, uh, our seat on the committee. In fact, uh, it's currently the party's intention that I should represent the ACT Party on this committee, and I look forward to doing that, sir. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh,